All right, welcome to your practice. Please find a uh, comfortable seat. And um, make sure you've got a nice lift in your pelvis so you're not rounding the back. And today we'll start with articulating the spine. We wanna, wanna open the body, making sure that the spine is limber. It's a great place. We do tabletop almost every class basically. But just to think that all of our range of motion is being opened up from the core, then from the shoulders to hips, and then to the extremities. Um, but it really begins with our spine and making sure that the whole spine has an even range of motion. So we have forward to back, side to side, and uh, twist. Okay. So in your opening posture, you'll just um, start to take a couple deep breaths. On the inhale, you'll articulate the spine forward. So it's like you're opening, my one teacher used to say, it's like opening up a storybook, right? Like if your spine was this books, the spine of a book, and then the front of your body was sort of opening like this. This is putting space on the front of the vertebra in your, uh, in your spine. And then it, we'll do the opposite where you bring the spine back and you, close the space in the front of the vertebra to try to open the space on the back vertebra. Okay, we're just gonna do this a couple times. We're gonna inhale, open the book. Exhale, close the book. And you can get very, very detailed. Lots of sensation, nerve awareness that you can develop over time. So as you inhale, we're opening. And exhale, rounding. Next thing you want to sort of become sensitive to is, is the whole spine participating? Okay, is the whole spine participating? Or maybe even a better question is, what part of your body leads the way? Okay, so when I go forward, for me, what leads the way is here. This is the spot that leads the way, the top of my chest. So I have to also think about opening my throat and opening my belly muscles. So the whole front spine opens. And then when I sink back, hmm. yeah, I think it's more like my mid, mid back leads the way, kidney area. And the same thing. So there's my whole spine, my low back, my neck, my head hangs. So you got a full uniform articulation of the spine. We'll do that a couple more times. Just listen quietly, be mindful, and move the spine, trying to feel up the whole thing. It's not just like a paper clip. We're not just hinging at one spot and letting the rest of the spine come along for the ride. The whole thing works as one. Good. And as you try to make sure the whole thing works as one, you might start to feel what spots are tight. And there's a reason we hold tension in certain areas of our body and it will ultimately connect to the spine somehow because all the nerves are gonna funnel into the spine. And so there'll be a shoulder, elbow, or knee issue will make its way into a part of spinal stiffness. Good, let's come back to center, just whatever neutral feels like for you right now. Now let's just start at the top of the skull. So we're gonna do side to side. So this, the top of the head is going to one side and you're now opening up the, the cervical spine, the, the neck spine. We're gonna go the other side. So the vertebra on this side are starting to get a little more space. Or at least that's how we think of it. You want that uniform stretch. And if the muscles feel like they're uniformly stretching, it's a good sign that the spine is uniformly stretching. Let's go back to the other side. And so even here, there's the upper part of the neck near the ear, the middle part, and then down by the collarbone is the whole neck evenly stretching giving a little bit of awareness and time to create that presence. So my right side is much, needs a little extra moment to my left. Okay, we're gonna go back to the first side again, whatever that is for you. And then we're gonna add in the side ribs. So you can actually stretch this one arm up and you're gonna open up the side ribs and open up the side belly as well. So now the whole spine is getting space 
on this side. Now, one thing to notice, keep your the hip that you're going from, so if we're going to your, um, your left, it's that right hip, needs to remain a little bit heavy on the earth. Let's come back up, take a moment. Let's go to the other side, head first, and you just sort of with that accordion-like structure in the side, ribs open, then the side of the back. Come back to center. Let's do a spinal twist. So you're going to turn. So I feel what part of your spine likes to initiate the turn. Turn to the right. And if my neck is definitely the last thing to initiate the turn on that side, I'm going to turn the other direction. But for me, when I turn to my, my right, your left, it's my ribs that initiate. But when I turn to this way, it's actually more my core. Try it again. Just listening to your body. What initiates the twist? Let me go the other way. What initiates the twist? Good. Let's come back to center. Let's go one more time. Accordion to one side, the whole spine. Starting with the neck, then you open the ribs, and then you open up the low spine. We'll go the other way. You're going to open up the neck, open up the ribs, and then open up the low spine. Let's come back to center. You're going to twist. And you're going to Initiate from the base of your spine and try to work your way up vertebra by vertebra. So you're, it's like a spiral staircase and you're climbing that staircase of your spine with your awareness, with your attention, all the way up into your base of your skull. And just go back to center from the base of your spine, walk up a spiral staircase. I definitely can feel the restriction on this side for my body compared to the other side. Good. Let's come back to center. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go to tabletop posture. Keep this in mind. The um, full range of motion in our spine as we start to bring it into the rest of our uh, core body here. So in tabletop pose, you're going to place hands and knees. Um, let's try to actually be a tabletop today. So the arms and the uh, thighs are vertical, vertical. It's a little bit shorter than we normally practice. I always you know, encourage usually more space, but here we're going to do perfectly vertical parallel um, arms and thighs. And we'll do that same thing again where we melt the front spine. So we're dropping our belly open. We're dropping our rib cage down. And we're dropping our throat down. So it's like our shoulder blades are shrugged up, not towards the ears, but up towards the sky. Almost like you're pinching a, a paper clip. Why not? A paper clip between your shoulder blades. Take a deep breath here. When you take a deep breath, try to fill in the front side ribs. Two more like that. Deep breath, front side ribs. Good. Now go ahead, push the ground down with your knees and hands and send your tailbone down. As you send your tailbone down, open your low back towards your tail. Open your upper back towards your crown. Breathe here. And breathe into those back side ribs. Back side ribs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, let's reverse that one more time. We're gonna hang very deeply so that um, our shoulder blades move towards each other. You'll feel like the tailbone will even lift. Maybe the belly hangs quite a bit because you're dropping your spine, sending the groins back, opening at the chest, the belly, and opening at your throat, all uniformly if possible. Let's breathe into our front side ribs. Inhale. Exhale. Really try to feel the movement in your rib cage. Inhale. 
Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Now nice and slow. Try to be uniform in your motion. You're going to drop your tail down. You're going to drop your skull down and build a dome with your back. You're going to send your low back the low spine down towards the tail and your upper spine out towards your crown, making a nice dome-like structure. Here we'll breathe into our backside ribs. Inhale. Exhale. Try to breathe and stretch into that area. One more. Good. Come back forward. Let's lie on our bellies just flat out. You're going to bring your elbows into your body, so behind your shoulders. So it's like a sphinx pose and then shorter. <laughs> right? Sphinx pose is under the shoulders. You're going to pull the elbows back even further than that. Okay, so you're kind of, it will bring your shoulders forward. It helps open up your back and then start to lower down, like you're bringing the front of your shoulder toward the back of your hand. This nice and slow, get a slow stretch here. Good. Work on sending your um, toes back and then energetically try to send your heels back. And notice how when you try to send your heels back, it tones your belly muscles. It flattens the spine. And then try to send the toes back again. Notice how when you send the toes back, it lowers the low back. It arches the low back. Let's one more time. Try to find balance by sending the heel back. Good. Inhale. Come on up. Cobra pose. Lifting through the back body. Not too high today. Just want to tone the muscles and breathe. Good, lower back down. Make sure you choose whether you're reaching through your toe or reaching through your heel to create a balance in your spine. Good, go ahead and walk your hands straight out in front until your palms are flat on the floor and your elbows are straight. Go ahead and push down on the flat earth with your hands. Push those palms into the floor. And just lift up through your crown. Work on opening the front of your throat as fully as you can, as evenly as you can, but keeping your palms pressing down to the floor. Once again, breathe into your side ribs. Even open the back ribs a little bit. Two more. Good. Lower down, relax. Go ahead and place your hands under your shoulders. You're going to push straight up into plank pose. And then push straight back towards downward facing dog. First downward dog in the plank. Take your low spine and push it back towards your tailbone. Take your upper spine and reach it out through your hands. So your rib cage is pushing out towards your hands. Your low back is reaching back towards your hips, your sit bones and tail. Breathe here as you slowly work to straighten your knees and your elbows. Don't lock them out. Just slowly try to straighten them. Good. Come on down to kneeling posture. And walk your hands back until they're upright. I'm going to turn your palms now to face forward and extend them out wide apart. 
you can assist the opening of the spine by using the shoulder blades. So when you pull your shoulder blade back, feel how it opens the chest. It's also opening the front of your spine. So it's actually a little easier to now bring your spine forward and open the front of it. Squeeze the elbows and shoulders back to open the front of your spine. Breathe here. Good. Come back to center. You're going to rotate the palms in and then away. So your palms are actually turned out like you're trying to, you know, uh, peel, so like open up curtains, right? You're trying to open curtains. Thumbs are down, palms are away. And this is going to help open up your back. So you're going to go open the curtain, just kind of reach to grab the curtains and now slowly sink your rib cage back. Opening the back body, let your head grow heavy. And breathe into your back side ribs. So let's make a big circle now. Lift your hands up and then lift them wide apart and come into that other shape that we started with where the palms are up and we're squeezing our shoulders back. Good. Now we're going to rotate. You're going to bring your hands towards your chest and you're going to reach through the, you're going to part the curtains again. Sinking the ribs back. Good. You got it. Breathe in those side ribs, back ribs. Inhale, lift it up. Make a big circle gesture. Open the front of your spine. Good. Last one. Open the back of your spine using the arms and the shoulders to help facilitate that. When you reach the hands forward like this, turned out, you're broadening the shoulder blades on your back, which is helping to open up the back of the spine. Inhale, open up. Last one, open the front just softly. Good. Place your hands back down the mat. Let's go to downward facing dog pose. One more time before you do some standing posture. Gonna take your low back, your low spine, and send it towards your tail, towards your sit bones. Equally, take your rib cage and push it into your palms. Breathe. All right, step your feet forward, nice and slow. And let's shift all the way up to standing posture. We're gonna start to open the hips and some uh, hip movements here. We're gonna keep the spine steady as best we can for now. And then we'll add articulation after. So first thing is first just to work on just rotating at the hips when we forward fold and leaving the spine stationary. It's just because the pelvis rotates over our leg bones. So let's just work on that and just see where it gets us. We're not rounding our spine. We're rather rotating our pelvis over our leg bones. And just inhale, come up. You're like that little bird that drinks the water out of the cup, that little toy. <laughs> That's us. Okay, drink the water out of the cup. Hips over leg bones. Get the water. Okay, come back up. I'm not actually sure how that toy works. Maybe it's like not getting water or something. Here we go again. Tip. Let's do a couple more. Moving some blood through those big hip joints. And back up. You can actually support your low back. You can push the hips slightly forward to lengthen the front of the leg. And we'll go back and forth two more times. Pull the pelvis back. Tip it over those leg bones. Inhale up and push the pelvis forward just gently. And the length and then tip. And then back up. Good work. Good work. Let's do a, a short warrior one. So you're going to step your left foot forward and your right foot back. 
find your stance that feels good to your body. Go ahead, bend your knee. And lift our arms up to the sky. And breathe here. Now, open the back of your spine first. To drop the head, tuck the tail a little bit. Good. Now, let's start to lengthen our spine up. Keeping this idea of keeping the back full. Yeah, very good. Breathe here. Let's take a big step out of that posture. We're going to put the right foot in front and the left foot back. Any distance will be fine today. Any distance. And we're really working on the spine. Legs just need to be stable right now. All right. So arms out, front, whatever. And we'll work on opening the back. So the low spine goes down to the tail. Upper spine goes up to the crown. I'm a little bit rounded. And now I'm going to stretch my body. Lengthen your body. Like you're filling in that rounded shape that you made. That's it. Good. Breathe here. Nice and calm, mindful posture. Good, step out of the pose. Go ahead and step your feet about as wide as your yoga mat, and you can turn your toes out just slightly. As long as your toes are turned out just slightly. We're gonna bend our knees and drop down. Just see how well you're gonna keep pressing your heel down this time as you squat, nice and slow. Good, breathe here. Open the back of your spine, sending the low back towards the tail, the upper back towards the crown. Good. Lift up through the hips and then lift up the rest of your spine. We'll do two more like that. Working on just keeping a nice fluid range of motion. You're going to bend your knees. You're going to send your low back down towards your tail and your upper back up towards your crown. Breathe here. You come out of this pose, you're going to work towards lifting the hips up first, and then ragdoll kind of bring up the rest of the spine. It should feel like so easy on your back, so easy to move this way. Do one more round. Just light and fluid in your spine. Sink down. Send the low back towards the tail. Send the upper back towards the crown. And then lead by rooting your legs and lifting the pelvis first. Everything else just follows with it. Good. Nice and fluid. Excellent. All right, let's incorporate a little bit of a sun salutation now. Nice and easy movement here. So stepping to the front of our mat, we're going to inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. Exhale, bow. Just try to remain mindful of your spine in space. Inhale, flat back, really toning that spine. Exhale, let's step back, downward facing dog. Low back towards the tail, upper back towards the crown. Inhale, top of the push up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra posture. Exhale, downward dog. Step the right leg forward or left leg forward, doesn't matter. And then inhale, come up, lunge. Let's go all the way back, downward facing dog. Step the other foot forward, doesn't matter. We're just going to a little lunge. Lift up. And then back, downward dog. Go ahead and walk it out, forward fold. And then inhale, come all the way up to the sky. Let's sit down, chair posture. Bring your hands to your heart, mountain pose. Take a moment in your mountain pose. And focus on your feet. 
pushing down through the heel, pushing down through the ball of the foot. Let's root down through our low back, to our tail, to our feet. Let's rise up through our chest and upper back, through our crown. Let's do another sun salutation. Inhale, arms up. Long, fluid spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step it back, downward dog. Move your low back towards your tail, towards the heels. Move the upper back and the ribs into the hands, into the crown. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra posture. Exhale, downward dog. Stretch your right leg up high to the sky this time. Exhale, step it forward. Any amount, you're going to come up high lunge or warrior one. Exhale, downward dog, stepping back. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, step it forward. Any amount, nice and wide, come on up. Nice fluid spine. Exhale, downward dog. Deep breathing, long deep breath. Lengthening your spine, you're going to step forward. Forward fold. Send your tailbone, send your low spine towards your tail. And lift up through that energy. Low back towards your tail. Good. Sit down, chair pose. And then inhale, mountain. Good. Stepping your feet a little wider, we're going to add a little more fluid movement in the spine. You're going to inhale, you're going to rotate your palms so the elbows are going to slightly bend. Rotate the palms forward and out and open the front of your spine. Exhale, sink your spine back, sink your spine down, and you'll rotate the thumbs in. And away, so palms turn out. This is opening the back body. Inhale, fluid, open the front. Make the whole spine articulate. Exhale. Opening the back of the spine. Listening to your own body. What leads the way, what stays stiff. Inhale, open the front. Exhale, open it back. You need three more at your own pace. Just listen into your own body, your own awareness. Let's keep the sun salutations flowing. Inhale, lift the arms up to the sky, a little more warmed up. Extend your knees, extend your elbows now. We extend our knees and elbows. It helps create a uniform tone using the big thigh muscles and triceps to help stretch our body. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step your right leg back and windmill up, warrior two. Breathe here. Drop the arms down and forward and up, warrior one. Deep breath in. Exhale, let's step it back, downward facing dog. Send your low back nice and limber in your spine. 
Low back towards your tail. Upper back and ribs into your hands. Move the spine forward. Plank pose. Exhale, lower down. Kneeling, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra, upward dog. Opening the whole front of the spine here. Exhale, downward dog. Beautiful. Step and work right foot forward and windmill up. Warrior two. Breathe here. Drop the hands down, forward, and up. Warrior one. Exhale, step to the front of your mat. Forward fold. From your low back, move your low back towards your tail. Move your tail down into the earth. You come all the way up. Arms up and sit down, share posture. Swoop the arms up and place them in front of your heart. Put the right arm down by your side. Lift the left arm up and over. That's accordion. Open the whole side of our spine. And if you lean a little forward, you're going to open the back side of the spine. If you lean a little back, you'll open the front side spine and come back up. Let's be mindful of how we're opening our spine here. Lift up the right arm. Tip it over. And just listen. Are you opening that whole side uniformly? Inhale back up, both arms up. Extend your knees, extend your elbows nice and straight. Nice and straight, really extending through elbows and knees. Exhale, bow, hinge at the hips. Then release your spine. Inhale, flat back. Go ahead, step your left leg back, warrior two again. Let's pause in our warrior two, focus on our spine. The low back is gonna go down through our tail today. The upper back goes up through our crown and then out through our pinkies. Pinky fingers, yeah. Up through our crown, out through our pinky. Good. And just try to be perfectly upright, rooting down from your low spine through your tail. It's the back body. And then the upper back body goes up through the back of your crown, out through your pinky fingers. It should give you a lot of spaciousness in your back. Go ahead and place your right elbow on your thigh, side angle pose. Good. Keep sending your low spine down through your tail. Down through your feet. Lean into your upper back and extend energy out from your upper back through the hands. Good. Go ahead, place the left hand down. Let's twist our lunge. You're just going to lift the right arm up, spiral your spine, starting at your low back. Good, let's step it back, downward facing dog. Low back, move it towards your sit bones. Upper back, move it. Rib cage, move it into your hands. Inhale forward. Exhale down. Inhale cobra. Exhale downward dog. Deep breathing, steady fluid movements. Let's go ahead and step our left leg forward, windmill up, warrior two. Let's pause here, focus on our spine. The low back, the low back. 
goes down through our tailbone. The upper back goes up through the back of your crown and out through your pinkies, opens the back body. Take the left elbow to the thigh, side angle pose. Try to keep those cues in your mind. Low back down to your sit bones, down through your feet. Back of your heart, back of your low neck. Lean it back and send it out through your hands. Good, go ahead, place your right hand down. Twist your lunge nice and slow. Start your twist from your low back, spiraling it vertebra by vertebra. Good, place your hands, step to the front of your mat, forward fold. Move your low back towards your tail. Move your tail down through your feet to rise up. Reach the arms up. Sit down chair. And then come back, mountain pose. Beautiful, beautiful. Take a wide stance, you're gonna turn your toes out so you're in horse pose. Or stance, yeah. So the feet are turned out. Push your low back down through your tail to root your heels down a little bit. Good, let's put our hands out in front of us. Help open the back of our shoulders. Mm -hmm. Now breathe into those rib cage, breathe, breathe in those ribs. They're stretched wide the rib cage. Good. Put your right hand on your knee. Put your left hand on your head and tilt your head to the left. Breathe. Still in your horse stance. Stay with me. Good. Release the left hand to the knee. Roll the head forward. And then roll it to the right, second side. Roll the head forward and then straighten your legs. Pivot the heels out, wide-legged stance. Take a moment, find your pelvis. So the pelvis can tilt. If you tilt your pelvis back, you send your tail back, you send your, just kind of like, quote unquote, stick your butt out, you're opening the front of your low spine. Does that make sense in the context of today's class? If you tuck your tailbone under, you're opening the back of your low spine. Let's just articulate that a couple more times. Open the front of your low spine, tail goes back. Open the back of your low spine, tail goes down or under. And you want to find a harmonious balance. So just go back and forth a couple times and let the pelvis have some movement. Find where the spine can be the most fluid through listening. Good. Now it's generally considered safer to just a little bit. You don't tuck a ton, but just a little bit. Root your low back down rather than under. Root it down through your feet and then hinge. Then hinge at your leg joints into a wide-legged forward fold. You're not tucked, but you're making length, just a little bit of length on the back side of the spine. And the difference is we make our length on the back by collapsing the front, or you're just lengthening the back and kind of letting the front just be natural. 
One move is a little more intense than the other. Let's flatten our spine. Now root from your low back to your tail, from your tail to your heels, and come all the way up. Good, stretch the arms out like warrior two arms. Go ahead and spiral at your low spine first. Spiral 90 degrees, if you can, to your left, turning your heart to the left. It doesn't matter, do both sides. Let's go back the other way. Spiral the second side. One more time, let's go to the first side. Listening carefully, like a spiral staircase, climb your spine with your attention. One more time to the second side, climb the staircase. Good, relax your arms. Stretch your right arm up and then spiral and bow over the left leg. Shift your tailbone back, inhale up, lift up the left arm, spiral and bow over the right leg. Inhale back up. Good. Bend our knees. Let's step to the front of our mat. And just shake it out a little bit. Have a quick sip of water if you like. Okay. Working on our balancing poses now with the same idea of keeping our spine limber and articulate. You can use the wall for balance if you'd like. Tree pose, well, actually we'll just do kneeling, uh, knee in front first. So you're gonna keep your right foot down and bring up your left knee and hold the front top of the shin with both hands. Now sometimes the pelvis can wanna sw swing forward here and we'll wanna lean back. Let's work on lengthening our low back down through our heel. And then lengthening the back of the neck and the back of the crown up. Good. Now breathe and keep your shoulders soft. And breathe into the side ribcage. Try to hold the attention on the alignment. And then we'll lower back down. We're going to plant down through your left foot. Go ahead and bring up your right foot, holding the front of the shin, top of the shin. The low back goes down through the tail. I should say the back of the low spine, if we're really being specific. Back of the low spine goes down through your tail. And the back of the neck and the back of the crown goes up giving your spine space and openness. And breathe into your side ribs. You can use the wall, just put one hand on the wall, one hand on your knee. And then if you're balancing is useful today, so you just work on one fingertip or just less body weight when you're at the wall. Good, lower that leg down. Let's go to a tree variation. So it's almost the same pose. You're gonna take the left foot up to the thigh or the calf. You can put your hands on your hips or just one hand on your hip, one hand on the wall. And the hips will help. You wanna keep the hips level, not tucked under, not tilting back. And you root your low spine down through your tail down through your standing foot. And then lift through the back of your neck. 
back of your skull. Breathe. You've got the stability with the hands, you'll stretch your arms out and then even stretch your arms up. Good, come back to center. Balancing pose. Let's go ahead and bring up our right foot. Tree posture. You can do hands on hips again or one hand at the wall. Focus. On sending your low spine down. Upper neck and back of the skull up, and then fill in your rib cage. Just being aware like this is calming on the nervous system, is opening the body, just to have the sensitivity. Use the arms if you'd like. And come back to center. Good, so some standing cat cow, turn to the side. Feet about hips or shoulders distance apart. You're gonna place your palms on your knee. We'll work on bringing our spine, opening the back of our spine Thinking about which vertebra are open the most, which ones could we be more attentive to, which ones lead the charge. Breathe here, and let's just inhale, let's go the other way. Opening, I like to open my belly faster than the rest of my body here, so I'm gonna open the throat, the chest. Being very detailed, very mindful, very internal. Infinite layers of nuance. You have, um, let me count, seven vertebra in the neck. You have 12 vertebra in the ribs. And you have five vertebra in your low back. How many is that? 24? 24. And they work together. They don't really work in isolation. Actually, when they get injured, they tend to be working in isolation. Let's just go back and forth, standing cat-cow, trying to feel all those 24 vertebra, and you've got your skull. And actually, sort of say you've got like these fused vertebra in your sacrum and your tailbone. They're like plates. All of those bones articulating and working together in your ligament and tendon. Couple more standing cat cow. Good. We'll do a couple, a little bit of come up really quick. We're gonna do a little bit of deep breathing with our abdomen now. So I'll pull my shirt tight. We're gonna exhale. And this is um, you're going to Move the belly in and out. What's happening here is the, um, I'm exhaling all the air by pulling my belly muscles in and I'm releasing, releasing my abdominals and it's like an organ scrub. Creates a lot of circulation, fresh blood flow and helps with digestion. Um, but we wanna be really limber and loose when we do this. So if you, you know, we've been practicing a while now, it should be okay unless you just ate right before we started class. This is what we're going to work on. So you can do it from a little bit of a uh, the knees bent position, or you can even try standing up. It's okay. Um, and we'll do it together. So I'll pull my short tight wrist. You can watch one more time. We'll do it together. So you're going to inhale, exhale, belly back. 
When all the air is out, you release and pump. Inhale. And then breathe natural for a second. You should get a lot of heat when you do this. Next thing you're going to want to be thinking about is when you're pulling in your belly muscles, are you pulling in from the upper abs, the lower abs, or is it even? So this next round, some people have more awareness in the upper abs, some in the lower. We really want it to have a sort of like wave-like rhythmic um, motion, okay? You, you see the advanced versions, it has this, it really looks like an ocean tide coming in and out. And then eventually you even work side to side, but I've never been able to do that aspect of it. Um, so we'll just, we'll see if we get to the intermediate stage, which is the understanding there's an upper and a lower, and there's a sort of a wave-like feeling happening there. Okay, let's do another round. Let's do two breaths before we go into it. Inhale, exhale. Don't breathe when you're actually doing the work. Inhale, exhale. Here we go, belly wash. Inhale. Pretty natural. Okay, I'm going to turn and face you for the final round. Do one more round. Here we go. Two breaths before it, and then on the last exhale, all the air out is when we do the washing. Inhale. Out. These long breaths are to give us plenty of air or plenty of oxygen for the hold. And begin. Breath back in and relax. Good work. Notice the effects. Beautiful. Let's come back to the mat if you're not already there. We'll just do a forward fold. We'll push back for our final dog, down dog of the class, stepping back. Taking the low back towards the tail. Taking the ribs and upper back into the hands. Breathe here, nice long hold, do five breath counts. And then work to straighten the elbows and the knees. Once you've got the spinal alignment, elbows and knees straight. Or work towards straight to fire those bigger triceps and quads into the posture. Good, let's come down to kneeling posture. Tuck the toes or however you'd like, and then you're gonna go ahead and sit back on blocks or on the floor. Kneeling pose. And turn your palms up in your lap. Let's do some deep breathing. Long, slow breath. Since we've spent so much time focusing on our spine today, you can still get your breath benefit, but you can actually think about the spine is doing the breathing. Mm 
what you're going to do is you're going to actually breathe on the inhale down your spine. As odd as that sounds, you're going to breathe and try to feel your awareness going down your spine as you inhale. And as you exhale, the belly muscles will draw in. And you can feel the energy going up your spine. We'll do a couple more rounds like that. Inhale, go down the spine. Just let the body move with that energetic awareness. Exhale, up the spine. Inhale, down the spine. Exhale, up the spine. Two more, really focus. Imagine that this spine is like a hollow reed and you're filling it with air, inhaling down it. Exhaling up. Last one. Exhaling up. Very nice. Just sit a moment, relax. You can choose if you want to practice your spinal twist today from this kneeling pose, or now change to a cross-legged posture. So I'll give everyone a moment to find out which position they'd rather be in. Cross-legged to do our twist, or um, Kneeling. Okay. Lifting up through our spine, making sure our hips are high enough. We can twist appropriately. We're going to close our eyes. You're going to take your left hand to your right knee. You're going to take your right hand to your low back, right on the center of your low back, right where the hips, back of the hips. And then just mindfully Slow as you can, turn each vertebra from the bottom to the top like it's a spiral staircase. Listening as you twist. Once you think you've sort of twisted to the top of the staircase, you're gonna pause and breathe here. Keep listening and see if there's any other areas that can continue to open the pose. Let's come back to center. If you want to change out your legs, you can. If you're doing a seated variation, I guess. And you're going to put your right hand on your left knee, and you're going to put your left hand on your low back, right at the back of the hips. Close your eyes, go internal, turn deep in the spine. Deep in the spine, vertebra by vertebra, like a staircase being climbed. Once you think you physically have twisted as much as is appropriate, pause here and breathe. And see if there's other areas that can still be open. Let's come back to center. Very good. Extend the legs out, and then lie on the back. With your blocks, you're going to take two blocks or one block, whatever feels right for your back. You're going to place the blocks under your hips, under your hips. 
We're gonna just let your spine sort of release down into your shoulder blades, down into the back of your skull. Focus on that breathing again here. Inhaling down the spine. Exhaling up the spine. Gonna watch this energetic movement that the physiology follow the energetic pattern that you're creating. Last round. Gonna stay in this calm state, release the props and place your pelvis on the earth. Bring your right knee toward the body. Just relax the hands on top of the shin. Keep breathing like we've been working on. Inhale down your spine. Exhale up the spine. Release that leg. Let's hold the other uh, shin, other second side. Same breath work. Release that leg. You can choose what kind of twist you want to do next. I'm going to extend my left leg out and take up the right knee in my left hand. Right knee up in the left hand. You're going to pull that across the body, stacking the hips. And work that same breathing. Go ahead and bring that leg up. You want to do whatever twist you're working on. Otherwise, you're putting your right leg out and your left knee up into your left hand. I'm sorry, your left knee up into your right hand and then pull that across the body. Don't bump it to your plants if they're in the way. Still practicing that breathing. Very subtle awareness now. Feeling these deep articulations in the spine.
unrolling, come back to center. Bring the knees in, both knees in. Just gently rock side to side. Rock a little bit forward and back. If you want, you can rock all the way up if it feels good to you. Or just gently rocking. Slowly lay your body flat on the mat now. We're going to do a little more subtle articulation here. So with the starting with the feet, you reach with your heels. Notice what happens to your low back. And then if you press like your balls of your foot or your toes were pushing away. So imagine there's a wall, your feet are on a wall, and you're trying to push the wall over with the balls of the foot or the tips of the toes. Notice what happens to your low back. And you reverse that. Notice what happens if you push with the heels of the foot, try to push the wall over. What happens to the low back? You just go back and forth, nice and slow. Try to make it feel balanced or harmonious in your spine. Then go ahead and lengthen from your low back down through your hips and legs, and then go ahead and lengthen through your mid and upper back, up through the crown. You might even slide your crown a little further away from the shoulders. Reach your arms out on a diagonal, pulling the shoulders down and away from the ears, and then rest, them, rest your arms on the earth. Rest your legs. And let your spine float in space.
stretch your body. Take a comfortable seat when you're ready. Thank you. Namaste.